George Marks, he keeps his place in goal after making the mistake in the last minute, last game. And what's going to be important is a no mistake back line tonight. Columbus still without star striker Cucho Hernandez, and they had midfielder Sean Zawadzki, his first start of the season, a week after his late goal. And it's Charlotte FC in the acid green who get us underway. MLS and Adidas marking Earth Day, so the team jerseys are made from recycled plastic. It's the fifth anniversary of this project. They'll try and beat the line with two and over. Great opportunity, it was a free header. Only 60 seconds into the game, and he put it straight into the hands of Patrick Schulte. Yuboa. Zellerian has found a little pocket of space for the cross, and the header is saved on the line. Needs to be scoring here. See Zellerian, there's no one near him. The back line, Milan, is not covering anybody. He's covering space. A ball. Short run for Zawatski. Now all the way across for Yaboa to deliver the cross. And at the back, it was Ramirez arriving and on the bounce. Couldn't control it. Over it goes. What a ball that is, and Ramirez. ball picks out an onside Juzviak there's the cross finish it is Swinaski and it is 1-0 there's all kinds of space to run into Uzbiak, he just picks out the right pass. And as it comes into Swiderski, he just composes himself. He's got all kinds of room. He's got all kinds of time to decide what part of the goal to go for. But that's when you need that little bit of calm and the reassurance that your quality, your technique will take through, and he just caresses it so nicely. Corner whipped in, it took a touch, and then it's headed wide by Yuzviak, a glorious chance to double the advantage. Scoring a goal helps, certainly the, the confidence and, and wanting to commit numbers forward. Zawatski, who scored a goal last week, playing it in the danger area for Matan arriving. Derek Jones tussling with Zawatski. Freeman's got the notebook out. And the former Houston and Nashville player. The acid green shirts, remember, of Charlotte and the black shirts of Columbus. Columbus playing from left to right in this second half. Yaboa picks up the loose ball. Bronico is across, and he's strong, but he doesn't have a lot of options yet. Lovely turn, Schroederski, that was confidence. And look at that pass for Capetti. He almost went right down the middle. That ball fizzed across goal, but plenty of Charlotte SC players there to defend. Ramirez, the other player who went off for the crew. Matan now. Yaboa with the overlap. And he sets him up, and he peels it back for Zellerian to hit it. And it's Tuiloma with the clearance. And this is Alex Matan. And he sets up Farsi on the overlap. This is played back, and the shot just not quite enough on it. Capetti now brings Degenek down to this side. Now, can he work it against the Australian? And he switched it, and Swiderski straight through. It's Swiderski for Charlotte's second. Great tracking back from Yaboa. Swiderski's second goal of the season is the difference between the sides as Yusviak wins the free kick, just up there on the edge of the penalty area, and a yellow card for Yaboa. Schulte right out on the halfway line to get things going again. This is Yaboa. Matan's in the middle, and that's Melander with the header only as far as Matan. Russell Rowe hovering around the six-yard box. That's neat feet from Matan. He's still going, and then he goes down, and the ball is cleared away. Very little space to work. Nifty feet. Gets through one, gets through the second. He's dribbling, fancy feet getting in between, but Mark stops him. Russell Rowe feeds Matan. And the numbers piling forward, Matan goes for a goal. Straight at Marks. 
Colorado pressed and pressed and eventually got their equaliser in the 91st minute. They'll want a second. Maybe Capetti can supply it. He lays up Ben Bender. And he takes his time, picks his spot, but the block comes in. Back to Bender once more. Still going. And the save made by Schulte. And so this, Slatanzio thinking to not too much time to invite pressure. It's around that time that you just need to see the game out. Bender going from distance. Schulte's got that one covered. Trying Tony to find their way through the outside because it's so congested through the middle. And a nice little touch, and it's set them up, and they do get the equaliser from Aidan Morris. The flag stays down, and Columbus level it late. As he drift into an offside position, just as we were saying the crew, they've been looking to go outside. In this situation, they do well to come outside, then to find a little gap to go inside. Russell Rowe is good. It's Morris has he creeped into the offside position. At home last week. And as we go into the 90th minute, or beyond 90 minutes, John Freeman going across to have a look at it. Soren Stoiker is the VAR, and they've got to look at this image. And if they're looking well, the ball, at, at that image, well, the, the ball is already well towards Aiden Morris, so it needs to go back a frame or two, doesn't it? Let's see. He's wiped it off! Going to need to start thinking about getting it up there towards the penalty area. This is Jaboa. The run made by Fazi. And Fazi will cross. Zellerian's header. And Marx makes the save. And he'll take his time. Russell Rowe trying to play at Matan. Cleared away. That's it. Charlotte win.